Good morning my dear children how are you all i hope you are all fine and safe at home today we are going to learn unit 3 poem your space written by david bates let us learn about the poet david bates was an american poet He was born in the small town of Indian Hill, Ohio. His period was thousand eight hundred nine to thousand eight hundred seventy. Among his best poems are "Speak Gently" and "Childhood." In this poem, the poet advises to speak gently. We should be gentle and polite in our speech. It will bless us with everything good and joyful. So we should speak gently to everyone. Okay, children. Let us see the poem. Your space. Stanza one. Speak gently. It is better for to rule by love than fear. Speak gently. Let not harsh words mar the good we might do here. Children, let us see the explanation for stanza one. The poet says that we should speak gently. Gently means kindly and mercifully. We can control others only by love. we cannot control them by fear in our life we do a number of kind deeds deeds means action yes or no children yes we do a number of uh, kind deeds but one harsh word will spoil every good things we have done so never use harsh words here Harsh words means rough and impolite words. Mar means destroy. Stanza two. Speak gently. Love that whisper low. The vows the true hearts bind. And gently friendships accents flow. Affection's voice is kind. so my dear children we should always speak gently love that whisper low that means does whisper low voice love speaks in a low voice it does not shout or scream love brings all hearts together even uh, friendship develops from soft words of love so the voice of true affection is kindness lovable person never use harsh words so my dear children we to speak in a low voice because love speaks in a low voice stanza 3 speak gently to the little child its love be sure to gain teach it in accents soft and mild it may not long remain dear children in this third stanza the poet says that we should speak gently to the little child also even though they are small children we should talk to them with love if we want children to love us we should speak to them with the words of love if we do so sure we get the affection of the child the child will not be a child forever as are no children they would grow into an adult when a child grows into an adult they will continue to speak gentle words so my dear children if you have younger brother or sister at your home speak to them with love 
because they are following you you are the role model for them okay children stanza 4 speak gently to the young for they will have enough to bear pass through this life as best they may it is full of anxious care dear children in this stanza look at the fourth line apostrophe t apostrophe t means we have to pronounce the word it it is full of anxious care here it mean by life life is full of anxious care anxious means feeling worried okay children let us see the explanation for this stanza we should always speak softly to young people in the journey of life there are many burdens to bear we are means there are many responsibilities in their life they have many ups and downs they meet with failures also so already they have many problems in their life so let them speak softly to young people then only they can manage to overcome everything with the words of love the stands of five speak gently to the aged one grieve not the care own heart the sands of life are nearly run let such in peace depart here grieve means be sorrowful depart means leave or go care own means tired and unhappy because of prolonged worry sands of life here the author used the metaphor the sands of life means the limited time of human life Okay, children. Let us see the explanation. In this stanza, the poet says that we should speak gently to the elderly people. Aged one means elderly people. As they are old, they are already burdened with disease, discomfort, and loneliness. Our words should not make them hurt. Moreover. they are nearing death let them die in peace so let our words fill their aged hearts with peace so my dear children we should speak gently to the elderly people my dear children if you have grandparents at home spend your time with them talk to them gently and make them happy okay children stanza 6 speak gently kindly to the poor let no harsh tone be heard they have enough they must endure without an unkind word children here endure means suffer patiently let us see the explanation In this stanza the poet says that we should speak gently and affectionately to the poor people as they are poor they are patient they have no power to answer us back they have to put up with a lot of difficulties we should never be harsh to them let them live happily with our words of kindness and comfort so 7 speak gently to the erring no they may have toiled in vain perchance unkindness made them so ho oh, win them back again children here 
erring means make a mistake perchance some chances dear children we should always speak gently to those who make mistakes they might have worked hard in the end they might have gone wrong because because of their higher authorities were strict or severe their harshness also made them go wrong so be gentle and good to them we can bring them on the right track with kindness okay children let us see the stanza 8 speak gently he who gave his life to bend man's stubborn will when elements were in fire stiff say to them peace be still children here stubborn means refusing to change one's opinion stiff disagreement let us see the explanation in this stanza the poet mentions about the jesus christ who had given up his life to stubborn and bent persons stubborn means refusing to change one's opinion bent to make submissive when all the elements on earth were in a battle against each other the jesus christ told them to be peace and still okay so the poet also says that yaar yarkla namukitta ennudi opinion dhaan correct naan dhaan best abdina stubborn ah irukkaangalo avanga kitta kuda nammala enna panna solraaru romba amaidhiya poga solraaru speak to them peace gently abdin solraaru okay children let us see the last stanza speak gently it is a little thing dropped in the heart's deep well the good the joy which it may bring eternity shall tell children here the poet compare our heart to a deep well well means kinar when you put kind and gentle words in the deep hearts it would touch out of the human's heart and bring joy and goodness which will last more than eternity beyond the end of the world so the poet concludes that gentle words will bless us with everything good and joyful now i hope you all have got the message speak gently whether they are rich or poor we should talk to them in gentle manner so my dear children from this moment let's follow the poet message speak gently thank you